Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. Our focus this morning has been on health. Did you know that 54 million U.S. adults, that's more than one in four, are affected by arthritis? It's a major cause of work disability in the U.S. and one of the most common causes of chronic pain. The Arthritis Foundation leads the fight for the arthritis community and helps conquer everyday battles through life-changing information and resources. My next guest is Leah Delaney. She's the development manager for the Arthritis Foundation. Foundation, Wisconsin, and we're also being joined by Desiree Constantino, who is a writer, storyteller, and activist that's been involved with the Arthritis Foundation for over three decades. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. So glad to have you both join us Thank today. Thank you for having us. And uh, I said you've been involved for more than three <laughs> decades. You kind of did the whole like, okay, you're giving away my age here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but we will find out yes, in this conversation yes. how you've been involved. But first, if you would, help our viewers at home kind of better have an understanding of what the organization does on a daily. Well, the Arthritis Foundation on a whole, I mean, it's the leading nonprofit organization, um, national organization for arthritis and arthritis-related diseases. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's over 100 diseases under the arthritis umbrella. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, you know, the Arthritis Foundation, along with their uh, brand new, wonderful one-stop shop websites, arthritis.org, is just a place where um, we provide um, services for families um, whose children have um, juvenile arthritis. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, there's exercise programs. We have um, healthy living toolkits now on our website. Um, we also have uh, arthritis support networks, which are local, um, we call them support groups, but they're not. They're more of so social support mm -hmm. networks that help bring both education and empowerment to people living with arthritis while trying to maintain their everyday lives. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and uh, you also cover so much more, uh, you know, because that is a long list of yes. awesome things yes. that really help make a difference in the lives of many people. Uh, but you guys also take it all the way to Capitol Hill for yeah. advocacy, whatever the case is, mm -hmm. uh, research, all those things are important when we talk about what it is that you do there. Very mm -hmm. much so. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, when we look at some of the issues that uh, individuals may deal with on the level of advocacy, uh, there's the difficulty assessing um, med medications, and mm -hmm. then there's a, a not a long list of uh, specialists that people have to choose from in many instances. So all those things are important for lawmakers to understand so that they can be more aware of what millions of Americans are living through. Very much so because there is that preconceived notion so often that um, arthritis is still just something that you develop you know as you get older and your mm -hmm. aches and pains and your your body wears out but um, you know the, the, most of the or a great number of the diseases under that umbrella are autoimmune conditions mm -hmm. and for me I was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis which is um, an autoimmune disease so that's mm -hmm. very different than the wear and tear of say just getting older and mm -hmm. you know we see that a lot and osteoarthritis is very prevalent um, among seniors um, and we're seeing it a lot more with our vets that are coming back from overseas wow. it's become one of their major health concerns as they as they come back home is um, they're, they're developing also a lot of arthritis and related symptoms. Mm -hmm. And I think that people are always, uh, if they're not fully educated on the mm -hmm. subject, they automatically think arthritis is something that old people deal with. And yes. you just mentioned that, right. you know, you had juvenile arthritis mm -hmm. and uh, from an early age, was it 1983 yeah. you were diagnosed? Well, it was December of 1982. So this mm -hmm. December I will be yep, celebrating my 36 years year with Arthur so it's a well you look yeah, great yeah, well, and thank you. the fact that you're here mm -hmm. to help other people better understand uh, you know what it's like to live with arthritis or uh, a rheumatoid uh, condition mm -hmm. then I think that that is all you can ask for it's a blessing in itself that I find and that. I find that you know the the best gift you can give is to help somebody else that's newly diagnosed mm -hmm. or just having a rough time because you know, it's people, it's a it's a niche thing. You need to have that um, sense of, I get it. Mm -hmm. And, 
you know, and your family and your friends and everybody, they can, they can empathize and sympathize as much as possible. But there's something about looking at somebody else that, you know, being able to read their face and just know that, wow, you're having a bad day, huh? Mm -hmm. And they don't have to explain it anymore, you know. And, you know, we find our special. own tips and tricks by sharing those things with each other. Yeah. yeah. So, Leah, I'm not going to forget about you over there. <laughs> uh, we've talked Never. about all of the things that are taking place. So, support and fundraising, of course, is a big uh, thing that helps make a difference Certainly. with individuals as well. So, you guys have coming up what you call the Jingle Bell Run. <laughs> yeah. So, so, tell us more. The Arthritis Foundation is in a really exciting position right now. I think that arthritis in general, and I think you alluded to it earlier, it has been one of those forgotten, sort of, kind of like a dusty mm -hmm. disease. Mm -hmm. And it's really our position as development managers here to reach out into communities, whether they're corporations, whether they're small businesses, whether they're families that um, understand and know somebody who has this particular disease, and gather everybody up and really gather the community together to bond together to find the research to find that cure. Yeah. I mean, that is really what it comes down to. And because of, we have a new website, Living Your Yes, mm -hmm. which is so, like our website before was fantastic, but if it's, you know, as you know, there's so much information. Yes. It was kind of archaic and you kind of look at it, it looks like <laughs> hieroglyphics, yeah. not anymore. You just log on, you answer a couple questions and you will be, you'll be served by your community mm -hmm. Mm -hmm immediately and right now there's a shortage of uh, rheumatologists out there mm -hmm. and it's really important that everybody understands that you are not alone and we have the help waiting for you and obviously they can call the office as well mm -hmm. I will happily answer that <laughs> <laughs> but um, among that I mean we have so many wonderful events that are fundraising opportunities so everybody can have a chance to support uh, the Jingle Bell Run mm -hmm. is coming up, and that is the most fun and festive <laughs> fun <laughs> run 5K yes. on this yes. side of the Mississippi. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is my thing, and <laughs> I am so proud of it. Yeah. Uh, we have so many special things. We have the 5K that's happening at, on December 1st uh -huh. at Franklin High School. Uh, the 5K run is going to be outside, and we're going to like tool right through the Oak Leaf Trail, which is a really pretty area. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a one-mile walk attached to it, and then we also have a one-mile walk indoors that's going to like walk the perimeter because people who deal with arthritis mm -hmm. aren't necessarily best friends with the cold weather. I was going to say mm -hmm. temperatures do kind of most definitely yeah. make you. You know, I yeah. mean, we had it earlier last year in November, and it was colder than it was today. So you just can't tell here <laughs> right. in Wisconsin. We're so, in Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. we try <laughs> to be really <laughs> sensitive about that. Yeah. Yeah. And of yeah. course, like there's awesome. going to be cupcakes, there's going to be acapella singers, there's going to be food and fun and, and Santa. Yeah. Uh, who could forget Santa? <laughs> My team and I will be there. So, uh, And also, yes. we will also be featuring Camp MASH as well. Oh, we yes. have a Camp MASH is, uh, we've been serving with Camp MASH for how many years? How many? Oh, years? Camp MASH, which is um, make, make Arthritis Stop Hurting. And that's the, um, it's a summer camp for kids with arthritis mm -hmm. ages seven, between seven and 18. Gotcha. Um, and it's been 30 years. They celebrated their 30th um, right. anniversary this year. So, so this is going to be a very family yes. friendly event at the Jingle Bell Run with games and so much fun. Costumes. Um, <laughs> yes. That's why and I can you know. Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. There might be some prizes. Yes. <laughs> but with that being said, um, we did hear that the, the Milwaukee Holiday Parade was discontinued this year. Yeah. Right. Why not create another family tradition mm -hmm. and support an organization that, that could really use the help? I love that. Mm -hmm. So uh, you were talking about this new website that yes. you have, and then you're also talking about people coming out for this 5K run or the 1K walk, mm -hmm. right? And so, one is it mile. One, one mile? One mile. Yeah. One, yeah. One, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. one mile walk. Kind of and, <laughs> right. Um, so, exercise really does make a difference uh, mm -hmm. for individuals who are living with arthritis and other conditions, right? Well, I mean, the old adage of move it or lose it is really, it, it's, it's no truer than it is when you're living with arthritis mm -hmm. or any kind of musculoskeletal disease. Yeah. I mean, finding your own workout routine is very very important depending on the impact and depending on whatever joint damage you may have or you're trying to um 
put off. Um, so, you know, this Liv Livios Connect on the on the website now has got, I mean, they can streamline programs. You can put down exactly what you need, what you can do, what you can't do. And they will actually give you personalized um, workout routine or tell you, well, this might work, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, swimming might be better, or walking, you know. Or eating banana splits on a daily basis. Well, yes, <laughs> no, is that what yes, you do? No, right. <laughs> <laughs> that, no those, are, those are frosties once in a while, yes. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> but your website, I was kind of mm -hmm. going through it, and I noticed that it also uh, really specifies different exercises that could be beneficial mm -hmm. for someone living with arthritis, and also gave uh, some great tips on dieting, because mm -hmm. there are some foods that you definitely want to take more of, you mm -hmm. know, kind of take in more, and then there are foods that you totally want to avoid. So it really breaks down that and so many other things. So yeah. really uh, a plethora of things there for individuals, whether they are living with arthritis or some other condition, or if they know someone who is, these are exactly. things that can help. Yes, right. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I want you ladies to do for me now, and if you would, is uh, really just talk about the importance of people having a better understanding of what it's like. Like you said, uh, people kind of think arthritis, eh, you kind of deal with a little knee pain or a little right. pain in your arm or hands. It's it's, some t it's so much more to it, right? Well, it is. And, um, you know, with um, the autoimmune diseases and rheumatoid arthritis yeah. being the most prevalent of that, um, it's um, really, it affects your, your tissues, your organs, and your joints. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, basically, for some reason, your your immune system thinks that there's an infection throughout, well, throughout my body. Mm -hmm. And so it's constantly on high gear to fight that infection. Somewhere, if, uh, you know, a switch got flipped along the way. And so, um, you know, to be able to help people to not only n understand that um, it's not just aches and pains, but there are some really serious implications if you don't treat it properly and if you don't get a diagnosis, um, you know, as soon as you can and start the treatments. You know, we've, we've found that um, the first two years after diagnosis are the most critical as mm. far as like bl stopping the disease activity. Um, and that can also be the time that causes the most damage. I think also isolation yeah. is a really huge aspect of this. The psychological mm -hmm. effect that um, feeling isolated from other people in the community that are doing things that you can't yeah. is huge. Mm -hmm. And so if you're isolated, that could lead to a lot of uh, depression issues. Mm -hmm. So it's really our job as development managers and as advocates of mm -hmm. Arthritis Foundation to bring those stories together and make sure the connections are happening in the community. Yeah, well, mission accomplished, ladies. Yeah, Thank you so it. much Thank for being you. here. Thank, Thank you. you. A pleasure. Yes. Leah Delaney is the development manager for the Arthritis Foundation, Wisconsin, and Desiree Constantineau <laughs> is a writer, storyteller, and activist that's been involved with the Arthritis Foundation for many years. For more information on the organization and to get details on their upcoming Jingle Bell Run, you can just visit their website. That's going to do it for today's show. I'm Andrea Williams. As always, thank you for watching, and I do hope you join us again next week as we take another look at Our Issues Milwaukee. Have a great day.